Hello everybody! Welcome back to uh, the organized chaos that is my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm up here in North Carolina. That is um, the race car I drove a few weeks ago. I didn't vlog it because we just had a whole array. Is that the right word? We just had a whole plethora of circumstances that were bad. It was a fucking disaster if I'm being honest with you. Guys busted their ass to scramble last minute to get it together and we got to the track and it was sputtering and we were kind of slow but they got it fixed and come race time we were good i guess i should probably just give you a whole rundown so saturday we get to the track uh like i said we didn't get to test we didn't get to do any of that um so morning practice was our first time out in this car so we let landon go out shake it down um and the thing was missing and sputtering like super super bad and they thought it was carburetor issues so they they worked on that but it was still sputtering really bad so they finally um for the last hour let me go out and make a few runs and it was it was sputtering really really bad um there were times where i thought the car was like shutting off on me it was sputtering so bad um but then sometimes it was fine like one of my first laps out it was fine and i drove it into turn one a mile too deep almost hit the wall uh, honestly i'll talk to landon about that here in a little bit but yeah we went out there for practice in the afternoon it was still sputtering they were still working on it um i spun out there um, at some point in the morning practice also, uh, they told me to pull in. So I pulled in and I got low in three and four and it's really bumpy down there on the apron. And we, we actually, I'll just put a big ass dent in the door. Um, we actually hit a bump, um, or several bumps down there and the car hit the racetrack and it put a hole in the oil pan as well. So they had to fix that. Qualifying ended up getting rained out after they fixed the sputtering issue. It was an electrical thing. Um, so qualifying was really going to be our chance to see where we were at. That rained out. We ended up racing at like 1130 or midnight. Um, and on lap 20 or so of the race, we pulled in because we were smoking and come to find out that hole that they had patched in the oil pan reopened. First, we thought I may have hit the track, but Landon said he looked at it and he thinks that it just came back up because of stress. But all things considered without like with very little preparation and and zero practice with the car like fully up to speed my lap times in the race weren't terrible i got down in the 15 second bracket which was not great i was still half a second off of the fastest lap of the race um but first time out i'll take it as a win so i'm gonna show you all around the car show you all my sponsors and then tell you all what our plans are here for the future all right so for those of you who may be new around here first of all subscribe we're on our way to 5,000 subs but yeah if you follow me on any sort of social media you have seen this thing it's camo uh obviously i live stream on twitch I uh, do a thing called Moon Car, so we had to throw that on there. Audio video specialists came on board the team. Brandon Cruz DFS, Ford Drive Creative, Club Jerky, uh, Shine, Dusty Pete's Gifts and Collectibles. And then over there on the hood, we have Shine and One Wraps, who designed and wrapped this bad boy for us. But yeah, so the car is in one piece. That is the good news. We did not hit anything all day. I spun out, like I said, in practice, trying to get a little too much, but we kept her out of the wall. Didn't hit anything, it was actually really awesome. Cool feeling to spin out in a race car. Wish I was going faster when I did it. We got the seat. Any of you who have followed around, uh, or followed along, rather, on Landon's channel, uh, probably remember the notorious clip of me allegedly getting stuck. And I wanna say that I, to be honest, that is the same seat. We did pour to power it out a little bit, um, but I was not, legitimately stuck i didn't know how to get in a race car that was part of my problem and that has stuck with me all i get from landon's followers is oh you fat fuck you can't even fit in the car you won't be able to drive it i fit in it we're fine i am claustrophobic which is wild so that's something i've had to kind of get over it's only bad when i'm like sitting in the car i will get a little claustrophobic but as soon as i'm rolling it's fine so uh yeah so the old girl's sitting here and as you may notice we're uh may have noticed we are missing a crucial part of this bad boy, um, the motor. So today, me and Landon are actually going, uh, and I am buying a motor for this car, so we will be able to race again. So the plan is right now, today is August 15th, uh, the Carolina Pro Late Model Series was supposed to race, I believe, this coming up weekend, or maybe this week, I don't remember the exact date. They were supposed to race at North Wilkesboro. For whatever reason, that got canceled. I've heard car count, I've heard tires. I don't know, the truth's probably somewhere in the middle. Don't know, don't care, because I was not gonna get to run that race. Landon was gonna run that race. 
Well, now they have moved that date to September 3rd at Hickory Motor Speedway. That is good for me because Landon will be racing that bad boy that night. So that means I will be able, if everything goes according to plan, be able to get back out there and hopefully run a full race. It's 75 laps instead of 100 laps, but hopefully we'll be able to get her dialed in, go test a little bit, get me better, because obviously I've got to improve. Never done this shit before. I've only got like a combined maybe 50 laps with all the practice that we had that day and all the issues. Um, so I've definitely got a lot to learn, but uh, I'm excited to get after it. So here in a little bit, we're going to go get a motor. Landon is gone. I actually don't know where he went, but he was on the phone. There's our hood shining one wraps. But yeah, ideally I'll be able to, obviously I'm not a fucking race car driver. I don't know what I'm doing, but luckily I'm in the position where I get to drive this thing every once in a while. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to race this thing some more. Um, September 3rd, there's a race in October, the fall brawl, Carolina Pro comes back there. So maybe, just maybe, if all things go according to plan, I will be able to run this thing quite a few more times and um, I don't know, just get better and see, see what happens. Cause it's a lot of fun. Cause I'm gonna be honest, like the feeling of driving the thing, even with all the problems we had, it was still super fun. I always wondered like watching racing, I was like, man, like how can people just absolutely suck and still want to do it. Now I know why, because it's fun. Like it's fun to just ride around even. Like I got lapped in my 20 laps I was out there because we started like third to last and God, the start was so disorganized. I need to like throw some footage in this somehow. Maybe I can, um, but yeah. So we, we started damn near half a lap behind um, and then I don't know, we got run down, but that is behind us. We're gonna go out there September 3rd and we're gonna get after it. The thing I learned, Landon said it during Moon Car the other night. We had a lot of problems that Saturday. The size of my balls were not one of them. I've actually got to reel it in a little bit. I was overdriving, turn one especially. Um, so that's just something that'll come with time though. Testing, a little bit of coaching from Landon. Um, we didn't really have much time to get a whole lot of that. The only really coaching I got was him you know, on the radio in those few practice laps and then a little bit in the race. And honestly, in the race is where I made my biggest gains. So, like I said, we're going to go get us a motor this evening. Hopefully I'll, uh, I'll get some footage of that. I'm going to go eat some Mexican food though. Cause I'm hungry. All right. Landon is in there getting us a tarp. So the motor doesn't get rained on. He should come out of that door any moment. I saw him walking. Oh, nope. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. Oh, nope. Fucking with the lights. Lights. Oh, yep. There he is. That is Landon. Landon, what do we have? New power plant. 604 crate motor to be exact. This is good news. I didn't record us getting it because we were trying to beat the rain and I kind of forgot to be honest, but you didn't miss much. Here's our tarp. We're a Christian race team because we have a holy tarp. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think this thing's water resistant. Yeah. But it served the purpose. It's good. So yeah, we got this. It's gonna go in the old 37. Um, I'm racing September 3rd, so it'll probably go in there about 5 o'clock, September 2nd. <laughs> and uh, we'll get to the track and see how she runs. All right, so here she sits, or dangles. I mean, that looks like a motor right there. I don't know about you, Landon, but... Let me sit down probably this far. Looks like a damn race winner. I wouldn't go that far, but we're, we're hope so. Okay, so Landon really has zero confidence in me. Not true. I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Landon takes every chance to say that I will never win a race. No, I think you could win one. While I've got you here, let's get your uh, August 6th synopsis. Synopsis for August 6th. Yeah, I gave them mine. I want to hear yours. Well, it was a lot of work in a short period of time. The car itself was ready. I thought that it handled well, but we had a electronic problem that we did not diagnose until after Travis had spun out in practice and ran 
a very minimal amount of laps that I uh, attributed to his learning period. But after that, we diagnosed the issue and fixed it, all while uh, Travis pulled it across the whoopty whoops because I didn't instruct him not to on entry to pit road. And we had a long wool pan on it, so it was setting really close to the ground. Well, when Travis pulled down across where he probably shouldn't put the race car, there was just a bunch of bumps. Making sure people don't run down there is why they're there. And we bounced the oil pan off the ground, knocked a hole in it. So we worked really hard to epoxy that back together, and Travis went out. Our electronic issue was fixed, and he was doing well in the race. And then the problem with the oil pan resurfaced because the epoxy did not hold, and he started leaking oil again, so we had to park him. That's pretty much it. All right, that's a fair one. What was the quote? We had a lot of problems Saturday, but what wasn't one of them? We had a lot of issues Saturday, but Travis's ball sack was not one of the problems. And why is that? Max is nuts. <laughs> what did I do? Just, he drove it to the cemetery in a one before he lifted. I almost put himself in the cemetery. Proudest moment of my life. Big, like literally and figuratively. Yeah. Hello, I forgot to do an outro when I was in North Carolina. I'm back in Georgia now. How are we doing? Before I let y'all go, I wanted to let you all know that those one small step tees that I had available for pre-order in June that took for fucking ever to get made were made. We shipped those out. Everyone should have gotten them by now. We have like 10 of them left over. So if you want one, they'll be on the site at the beginning of the week. I'll have a link to my shop down in the description. We just gave one away on Twitter. We might have like 12 left. I don't know. I haven't counted. After the giveaway, there's like 10 or 12 left. So they'll probably go quick. So get them while you can. They're pretty cool. Appreciate all y'all watching. We'll see you next time.